Okay, so files watcher exclude. Configure log patterns of file paths to exclude from file watching. Patterns must, must, ah, patterns must match on absolute paths. That is prefix with a star star or the full path to, to match properly. Changing this setting requires a restart. When you experience code, Consuming lots of CPU time on startup, you can exclude large folders to reduce the initial load. And notice that by default, the node modules folder is uh, excluded. Now, what does VS Code, first of all, what's, what's a watcher? A watcher is um, a, a little bit of software that watches files and folders for changes. And why does VS Code have a watcher? Um, because for several several reasons, I'm just, just going to give you two examples. Um, VS Code looks at your uh, re repository files, is excluding the ones that you insert here, obviously. And when they change, VS Code might trigger, for example, a git status. Uh, so that Git knows about the changes that occurred and um, can trigger something like this little um, badge right here, A changes, right? So it keeps Git up to date. Um, this is one example. Another one is just, well, I guess kind of the generic version of this, which is uh, when there are changes, VS Code may talk to the extensions you have installed and it will tell those extensions that request or that uh, connect to these uh, change events. Um, VS Code will tell them about changes in your files or, or folders so that those extensions can do whatever they do, right? Um, it's also a way for VS Code to give you feedback um, on stuff that uh, those ex uh, changes that those ex extensions made um, so that those extensions don't need watchers themselves and you don't have more than just one watcher on your files which would make things uh, unnecessarily complex and it would take more CPU power and this way, VS Code watches the files uh, and can um, convey that information uh, to all its extensions. Okay, um, so if you have, and sometimes this happens, it's, it's quite annoying. If you have a really big folder on your project and uh, sometimes you have S SQ, uh, SQLite data, databases on your project and it's something that changes every second or every 10 seconds or whatever and that keeps um, triggering a VS Code to do something like a git status and it's really not necessary because that uh, folder is not even being included in the repository um, so either that either you have a database that's constantly updating or you have uh, a really big folder uh, that you want to exclude from watching, you can just include it here. So if you run into performance issues or the annoying um, constant uh, triggering of git status or stuff like that, just make sure that you add that folder here and that problem will be solved. And this is what this, uh, this is why this setting exists. Okay, uh, I hope that was clear. Uh, I don't need to change anything because I don't have any repositories that with huge folders or folders with databases or folders with files that are constantly changing. Uh, so I'm gonna just leave uh, these settings as they are.